Hey everyone, welcome to this video where we will have a look how we can install the Universal Robot Offline Simulator on your system. I'm using a Windows computer, but if you have a Mac, this process is pretty much the same. Um, so if you follow along, you should have this on your system in no time. So in the end, we will have this Polyscope interface, which is basically the same interface that we are using on the real robot but we basically have it as an offline simulator where we can test things out, where we can also see how to connect to the robot and how to uh, send data to the robot and get data from the robot. As you can see, this is the polyscope for the CB version. So depending on your universal robot, this might, be, uh, this might look different. However, the process is completely the same and you should be able to follow along um, no matter if you have an E-series universal robot or a CB series universal robot. So where do we actually get this um, file? We get this file on the Universal Robot support page and under the download section. So this is universal-robots.com slash downloads. And here it's not the most um, uh, uh, easy to navigate uh, directory of different downloads, but what we're looking for is under software. And here we have non-Linux offline simulator. If you were using Linux, then you could of course also use the Linux simulator. Um, however, I will not go over this here. I'm guessing if you use Linux, you know what to do. So the next thing that we need to figure out is our version of Polyscope. So if you start your real robot, or if you know which robot you're going to buy or going to use, um, then of course you um, simply choose the right version of, uh, of robot, either E-series or CB-series. Once you start the robot, you will also see um, uh, the version number of Polyscope. In my case, uh, I will use just the most up-to-date one, and you should also, of course, uh, update your robots regularly so they use the, the latest software. Um, if you are unsure, for example, if you're a student and you might have a robot in your university, but you're not quite sure uh, which version it is, then the quickest way to figure out um, if you have a CB version robot or an E-series robot is to look at the base of the robot, which basically means this part down here. And as you can see, the E-series universal robots, like the UR10E, um, they have this conical base, whereas the CB version um, has this flat base except for the uh, UR3, which has this conical base in all versions. Um, this is also marked on a small uh, sticker that you can find on the robot where you can see the version number. So once we are here on the Universal Robot download page, you select your version of Polyscope. Again, I will use the CB series um, 3.1.5 and simply use the latest one you have to create an account with Universal Robots before you can download these files. Um, of course, I've already done this, but um, if you haven't, simply go ahead and create an account, and then we can download this file. It's quite large, so depending on your internet connection, this might take a while to download. However, in the meantime, we can also look at our virtual machine. A virtual machine is basically just a way to simulate a different computer on your computer, and I will be using the Oracle VirtualBox. You can find this under, under virtualbox.org and simply download the latest version here as well. Once you download it, VirtualBox, it will probably look like this. Um, of course, this will not be here already for you um, since this is the actual Universal Robot Sim. But um, after downloading it from the Universal Robot site, which takes just another second here, then we can actually um, unpack this to a location that is suitable for us. Create a new folder. I will just create a folder on my desktop, but of course you should put this somewhere where you actually find it. This then takes a few minutes as well, uh, simply to unpack all of the files. And after this is done, we can go back to VirtualBox and click 
add and simply add the file that we just downloaded and unzipped. In my case, this on the desktop, Universal Robots, and then you should have a .vbox file. You open this one, and that's all basically that you needed to do to get your Universal Robot Sim into uh, VirtualBox. Now, before we start, there are a few things that we should set in order for the um, simulation to, to run as smooth as possible. Um, the most important thing, if you click here under settings, is to set the network to a bridged adapter and then to basically just use the network that you're using on your computer. Um, all this does is to make sure that basically this simulated robot is in the same network as your computer and this will then allow you to um, send data to the to the simulation um, just it, as it was a ro as it were a robot in your uh, network um, there are many other things that you can um, uh, set here I would maybe increase the video memory just slightly you can also play around and uh, try out different um, uh, these different settings if you have any problems like for example if you have uh, display problems you can maybe enable 3d acceleration you can also change the graphics controller but we will not go over this here this is something that you can then um, uh, figure out if you have if you're running into problems so if we then start this virtual machine it might take a while it should start up. It might be the case that if you have um, uh, a Windows PC especially, um, it might be configured to block virtualization. In this case, you simply have to Google your, um, your PC, the, basically the, the make and model of your PC, and um, then you can figure out, okay, how do I actually activate virtualization for my system? And there we have it. We are in Polyscope. And we can then select the different robots, whether the, you have a UR5, a UR10, and go in here and start programming. Now, if you want to just play around with it and just uh, basically maybe create your programs before going to the real robot, you can basically stop here. However, um, I will quickly go over just to show you how we can um, make sure that we're in the right network and where we also figure out what our IP address of the robot is. We're going through the initialization of the robot, which is pretty much the same as on the real robot. And um, I will just go into an empty program here and click on the UR uh, logo in the upper right corner, uh, upper left corner, of course. Not the one on the uh, on the program taskbar, but uh, right below. And here you should have an IP address if you did it the same way I did. It might be that you do not have this IP address displayed here. In this case, um, we will go out of the uh, uh, programming environment and some here under File, Exit, Setup Robot, and under Network, check that we are in a network. Um, you should enable DHCP. Um, of course, if this is disabled, you're of course not connected to a network. If you have a static address, this might also not work. So you should make sure that you're under DHCP so the robot gets its IP address automatically. If this doesn't work, make sure that you have a, uh, that your network is configured correctly. We do this by uh, right-clicking down here under the VirtualBox uh, settings, network settings and make sure that you have the bridged adapter, that you're here in the same network that is basically your internet connection, that is uh, the network that your computer itself is connected to. Um, these advanced things are usually not uh, necessary to change, but if you keep having problems, uh, use the system tool uxterm and type the command if config. So I-F-C-O-N-F-I-G. And with this command, 
you should get uh, the network you should get the network um, address of your simulation and here then you can also see if you are connected to the to the network and what your IP address is that we then will use later. That's it. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments, but it's also uh, advisable to check out the Universal Robots Forum if you have any pro problems. So you can find the Universal Robots Forum under the universalrobots.com slash support, and then you should have the link to the forum right here. And uh, if you have any questions about universal robots, about getting into programming, about um, programming for robots, you can also ask them here and often you will have an answer um, quite quickly, which is nice, which is something that uh, many other robot, um, robot companies don't have uh, in this way. It's also quite neat. So thanks for watching. I hope this helped. Um, if you have any questions, use the robot forum or also under the comments in this video.